Uh, one of the, uh, don't forget, uh, please, if you're on the Kaizen, just read the list of what we need to wear and what we need to uh, meet on Monday, so make sure you double check that. ITW, ITWFS will be here at 1, and Sally Nice will be here at 10, so we're going to have people in here, so make sure, again, member salespeople are our best, material salespeople are our best uh, advertisement when they go out there, so we want to make sure everything's clean and ready to go, okay? Uh, we did have one improvement. Okay. We want to make sure. We want to give special thanks to Bob Osserano. He did a great job on the audit yesterday, so let's give him a hand. Uh, Bob, over. Bob did a great job with Jim. They got all the paperwork. They were able to solve it all. They went through it. Everything was good. A couple of small findings on how we do some paperwork stuff. Uh, especially the reliable sign-off, training sheets, and some of the other stuff we'll work on. But otherwise, everyone else, uh, I appreciate the way the plan looked. Jim made, made a point to say how well the plan looked. So again, I appreciate that to everybody here. When he says, when he sees that to start with the audit, the audit goes a lot easier than if it looks like it's a big mess and nobody knows where anything's at. Okay, so it was a lot better. So thank you. Good job, everybody. All right. All right, so team members serve as, serve as problem detectors, okay? From a technical point of view, we think of a signal detector as devices that detect, detect the deviation from the standard and alert people that there is a problem. The idiot lights in a car come on when oil pressure is too low or there is some engine malfunction. Sakachi Toyota developed an automatic loom that could detect when a threat broke and immediately shut itself down and signal for help. An example of an Andon system. The Andon started out as a metal flag that popped up. Korean engineers do their best to develop many kinds of automatic signal detectors, particularly on automated equipment. But many problems cannot be automatically detected, and a human must diligently watch for these problems. The Andon system then gets triggered by the person pulling a cord or pushing a button. The first step in continuous improvement is problem identification, and every team member must be willing and able to call attention to the problem. As discussed in Chapter 3, Futura headed up human resources when Toyota first started NUMMI and eventually became Vice President of Human Resources for North America. He explained what the Toyota production system meant to him. The whole system to me is about identification of problems. They want to call it an opportunity. No, I say, it is a problem. With an opportunity, you have a choice. You can take it or not. Why do we often prefer to use the term opportunity in America? The answer is in our culture. When we say problem, we automatically assume that someone is to blame. This was the problem Toyota faced when starting up production in the United States and has been one of the major challenges in every plant start up globally. All right, so it's a good idea. We, we think of problem, we think that somebody did something, but it, you know, we use the word opportunity, but really we don't have a choice. We have high scrap, we don't have an opportunity to improve, we have to fix it. It's not a choice. So. Uh, it's just a culture and a learning thing, so we've got to make sure we start changing that mindset. Okay?